Site Explorer is the flagship tool of Majestic, and the summary page is the best way to get a full breakdown of backlink information for every domain, subdomain, or URL in our index. Enter a website or web page you are interested in, and instantly get an in depth analysis of its backlink profile. At the top of the page, you get the key metrics that Majestic offers trust flow, citation flow, and topical trust flow. Trustflow is an indication of how trustworthy the site is based on the websites that link to it. Citation flow is an indication of how linked to it is, and topical trust flow shows what sectors the website is influential in. Next to those metrics, you can see the link charts, which give you an at glance overview of the type of sites that link to your search. Link graph shows the network around your best links, and link profile maps the trust flow and citation flow of direct links. Next up, we have the page title of the home page or URL, and then the traditional number of backlinks, referring domains, IPs, and subnets. Further down the page is a selection of the best backlinks to the domain and their link context. This shows the text around the link, so you can see if they have a high link density score, meaning the backlink is surrounded by links to other websites, or a low one, which means it's in a paragraph of text. The information section shows how many URLs on a domain that we have crawled and indexed, a .edu and .gov breakdown, and the IP address that the website is hosted on. Underneath that, you can see bigger versions of the link charts. A healthy link graph will spider out in different directions, whereas an unhealthy one will have clusters of interlinking domains. A healthy link profile chart will resemble a flame, while an unhealthy one will have dots lying along the bottom of the chart. Following the link charts is our language breakdown. These are the languages we detect when we crawl pages, and the language of the anchor text used to link to it. Normally you want to see the same language being used to link, but when there is a different language linking to the language used on the site, it could indicate a potential issue of unnatural backlinks. Topical trust flow is how authoritative and trustworthy a domain or URL is within its niche and what the topic of content is about. This breakdown shows the top 12 topics the website is influential in. Next, you can see a distribution of link density for the inbound links to the site. When looking at the immediate area around a backlink, it is not unusual to see that the link is surrounded by other links. This would typically be seen in a header, footer, navigation, blog roll, or on a category hub page. Link density is a measure of the percentage of surrounding content that is made up of other links. A high link density suggests that the link is indeed in the middle of a group of links, whereas a low link density implies that the link is surrounded by non-link content, for example, a single link inside a paragraph of text. A healthy backlink profile will show an even spread of link density. The backlink history chart shows the number of new links which have been discovered in the period of time covered by the index, either 120 days in the fresh index, or the last 12 months in the historic index. The backlink breakdown section shows how many of the backlinks match certain parameters. Live or deleted show how many backlinks were still on the page the last time we crawled it, versus ones that were no longer on the page for any reason. Deep links and home pages show the split of backlinks coming from the home page of a website and its inner pages. Direct or indirect shows how many links go directly from the source page to the target page, with or without going through redirects or third parties. Follow versus nofollow shows how many links are marked as nofollow via the rel equals nofollow attribute. Finally, HTTP versus HTTPS shows how many links come from HTTP pages compared to HTTPS ones. We also show a breakdown of links between redirects, text links, image links, and frames. The referring domains breakdown shows the same data, but at the ref domain level instead of backlink. And the referring domains history chart shows the number of new referring domains which have been discovered over the last 120 days or last 12 months. Rounding off the summary page is a breakdown of the top 10 anchor texts used to link to this website. To learn about the other tabs available in Site Explorer, click the link in the description.